Chapter 3, The Suspicious Peddler <laughs> Alright, monkey, listen up. If you don't do your job, then this girly monkey is as good as dead. Do you do what you're supposed to do, and you'll get to have a nice happy reunion later. Understand? Both you and this girly monkey could wind up dead if you're not careful. Well, how do you like it? That lovely thing around your neck is no ordinary color. It's so advanced that even if you ran into the ends of the desert, punishing you would be a snob. Come to think of it, monkey, you don't have a name, do you? You're going to need one from here on out. I hope you can come up with something cute. <laughs> a monkey who will endure anything for his girlfriend. Well, hey guys, it's me, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and it's about time I get my intro done. Two minutes and thirty seconds all right in to this video. Last time we completed chapter two of Monster Three, and this part, well, it looks like we found out. Out, we're going into the story of that peddler we came across in chapter two. Anyways, it looks like we have to name this monkey who is really happy to do some backflips. Very eager to get along with the game as well, I suppose, but probably not eager to get shocked again over losing after losing his girlfriend. Anyways, a monkey who will endure anything for his girlfriend. His name is Salsa. All right, stupid monkey, Salsa. I only say this once, so listen close. If you want to enjoy your little journey with me, just remember these two things. You and I are buddies. Don't you dare try to run away from me. I will behave and act nice and friendly. Got that? No. You don't get it, huh? And I'll say it just one more time. You and I are buddies. Don't you dare try to run away from me. Please behave and act nice and friendly. Got that? Yes. Good boy. And the other thing to remember, never disobey my command. If I say dance, you dance. If I say yuff, you laugh. Is that simple? Got it? No. Yes, I'm doing this just to see the monkey get shocked more. I am a sadist like that. No, not really. Oh god, I hate people who actually do harm others just for that, and even animals. But anyways. You don't get a heart, then I'll say it just one more time. Never disobey my commands. If I say dance, you dance. If I say laugh, you laugh. It's that simple. Got it? Yes, sir. Do what I say, and we'll both get through this without any hard feelings. I already have hard feelings for you. You shocked me four times already. <laughs> oh? What's that defiant look in your eyes? Dance! Push the control stick into the direction he points. <laughs> Not a silly monkey dance, but just watching it in his mercy. Try a different dance. Okay, move right. Good boy. Laugh. Down. Laugh, look. Up. Good boy. Good job. No doubt everyone will believe we're a performance duo now. That's shock number four. What is that five? 
I lost count after all the abuse. Wow. I'm taking this nonchalant. Does that make me a terrible person? Well, off they go. So apparently that peddler is named Facade and... Apparently the peddler was named Facade and he was working for the Big Mass the whole time. And yes, facade is a corruption of the word facade, which means to deceive. And his Japanese name is Yokuba. I don't know if that's actually a pun or something. Probably is. Hey, you stupid monkey. You only get to cry when I tell you to. No crying on your own. It's punishment time. He zapped us for crying? Okay, I know that water by itself is an insulator, but those are tears. Those contain salt. That is gonna hurt even more. Hey you, quit sleeping on the job. I'm not sleeping, you shocked me unconscious. Alright, listen. There's a white round building west of here. We're going there. Jeez. <laughs> You wound up being taken with facade. It's funny how it's sad music. Now down here is a barrow. This is you'll find a frog. Hey uh, I saw everything. Be strong. Endure it. I'm sure things will start to go your way someday. Help that day come. Will you save your game now? No. You're gonna endure it without saving too? Is that how you prefer it? Well I have no choice but you accept that. Be careful out there. Anyways. Can't run from him. Anyways, new enemy here, but let's back attack it. It's funny how it actually looks towards you when you back attack it, but snug up on a dung beetle behind. These guys are actually pretty easy, and you have to be because it also starts off at level one. <laughs> oh my gosh, five hit combo! I just. I just tapped regularly. Wow. And Facade usually takes things out in one hit, and you can gain the XP from that. There was some dung. So also took some dung. An enemy left behind a present. It was beef jerky. Key word. Was beef jerky. Anyways, if you go over here, go clean water here. Sell so much, sell much better. Anyways, talk to this guy right here. He is not an enemy. I am one some dung. I don't have any dung to roll, so I'm not a true dung beater. I'm so sad. If you happen to come across some dung, please bring it to me. I'll always be here, so bring me some. Well, we got some dung from your brethren. I don't care what kind it is. I'm all sad and confused. Wait, you brought some dung? Are you giving it for to me for free? Oh, this is quite rare. Exquisitely aged dung. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's roll. Let's roll to the ends of the desert. Yeah. Ten experience points. Wow. Um, first try. Typically, these things will only give you five EXP. Right? That is regular dung beetle. But if you get special, somehow get specially aged dung, he'll give you ten eggs. Be instead and yeah this is actually a great way to level up um firstly it'll smell the water will smell like dung still heals you all the way same anyways but anyways you can go ahead get collecting dung from these dung beetles It's funny, those eyes are actually its butt. Ah, oh, didn't get a 5 hit combo? But yeah, Dossod takes things out in one hit more often than not. Too bad they only dropped 2 EXP, but thankfully. Whoa! Do not encounter that enemy yet! That is a sand lizard. You pretty much want to be level 5 before you take on that. I mean, oh my gosh. Hey, level is now three already. 
Don't you dare! Get away! The dung beetles respawn very fast as well, so you can just keep on just going around these areas. You never have to leave and come back. As you can see, this is probably regular dung more often than not. The aged dung is kind of rare. As I say that, he gives us exquisite rare dung. And it's 10 AXP points again. Oh god, the, the thing is a sand lizard and it is tough. There's a, one down here as well. No, no, no! Shoot. Uh, it's gonna be tough, but I'm gonna go ahead and attack this dung beetle. Never mind, um, that sand lizard actually, they can eat the dung beetles, which is kind of disgusting. Now, monkey tracks, you can, they basically do different things. Monkey mimic basically allows also to copy the attack that the enemy is using, kind of like mimic and Pokemon. You can also make laugh and apologize just to distract it. I think dancing um, actually turns the enemies around, kind of like the siren beetle that Duster has. Yep, that what it does. Okay, perhaps I am ready for the sand lizard. Too bad, uh, because he ate the dung beetle, he's not gonna give us the XP. And yes, Facade has a chance of throwing a bomb, which does almost 200 HP of damage. Now, is this regular dung actually grab the present first? Got a running bomb, very nice. Okay, is this regular dung? Yeah, it's regular dung. Man, I can't believe I got the rare dung twice in a row. That's funny. Now, I... Now, by the way... Celso also has his own battle memory. And also a sketch and Tasmanian map for some reason. Maybe it's... Maybe it belongs to Facade, who knows. But anyways, make sure that you got the back sprites for all the Chapter 2 enemies. Just making sure. I believe I got all of them anyways, and I checked in the previous videos. An enormous snake? Okay, got the Oso snake. Okay, that's all the enemies so far. Anyways, I must tell you right now, it's a good idea to try to level up, preferably level... Uh, level 10 is probably the best for Salsa. Although I did manage to scrape by at only at level 5. Actually, no, um... Actually, no, I take that back. If I go ahead, um... Yeah, I probably should just go ahead and reach level 5 for this part. Level 5 is probably the best before leaving this area, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and grind for one more level and... But in between, I'll be, I'm going to end the video, and in between videos, I'm just going to collect some dung and level up. So next time on Mother 3, we're going to be a bit stronger, and we're going to go further into the desert. I'll see you guys next time.